Hi, I'm Niku Sharma. I'm a Toronto real estate agent. I've been in the business for over a decade. And today I'm going to talk to you about what you need to know before renovating your home. So there's a lot to know when it comes to renovation, period. But the number one thing at this stage is being prepared, understanding what it is that you want to do to this home or what you need to do to make it functional for yourself and your family or whatever reason you're renovating or whether it's investment or you know personal use so that really begins with who do you need to call not ghostbusters you need to call people that have potentially done a renovation you need to sit on Google and look at, okay, you know, who, is it a design build firm? Is it just a general contractor that you need? So you really need to do your research, understanding, you know, whether it is a gut renovation, whether it is just a cosmetic renovation and what really goes along with those kind of renovations. So number one, call on people that have done similar renovations, you know, understand their experience, understand who they worked with. Could that be a potential match for you? Look at other options, maybe through Google, Homestars, and really try and find some companies that you can interview with that can help you to understand what budget you need to have, what kind of, you know, time frame you're going to need in order to do this renovation and what the process is really going to be like with each individual, um, you know, company that you decide to work with. So when you're meeting with these companies or general contractors or, you know, teams of renovators, what do you need to look for? You need to look at their experience. Experience is so important. And I can tell you from my personal experience that it is something that you should not take lightly. If you're working on something that is a very unique project, for example, a century home or a heritage home, working with people that have history and experience in that particular reno of that level is so important because if you don't have that experience, you need somebody on your side that does. So for us, we were very fortunate to have our designer who has been in the business for many, many years. And she has done tons of renovations, not only in our neighborhood, but all over uh, Ontario. And that really helped us kind of as first time renovators of a, a major gut project, um, you know, help uh, helped us get through the process and understand when you know when things were possible and when things were not possible so their experience is super important licenses what kind of license do they have are they do they have WSIB do they have people that work under them that are covered in their insurance um, you know do they have licensed electricians plumbers that they work with all of that the legitimacy of these this team that you're going to work with is super important because if there are issues that falls back on them so you don't want to take any risk especially when it comes to a deep dive uh, renovation obviously making sure that they have references right talk to the people that they've worked with before that's going to give you the confidence that yes these are people that i can work with their personalities are you know so that I can, if I don't understand something, they can help me through it or, you know, that they're not going to just um, kind of push their ideas on you. And you're also going to feel more comfortable working with people like that. Now, if you're going to be hands on, this is going to be a b bigger factor than, you know, if you are going to be kind of hands off and let them once you have the once you have a team of designers and then you know do process by process you could be a little bit more hands off and in that sense you may not need to worry too much about their personalities and really need to do the deep dive because you will have certain people that you go to at each stage um, and then payment schedules understand how payment schedules work because if you're doing a gut renovations, that's hundreds of thousands of dollars that you'll have, need to have available. If you're doing a rebuild, that could be potentially millions of dollars. So what does that look like? How are you going to have those funds available? And if you don't have an understanding of the payment schedule, that is going to cause you problems throughout the process because then you'll be scrambling. So really understand your financial situation, really understand their experience, um, the, their personalities, 
and just how they work in these situations to be able to make an informed decision on who you're going to work with. Who you're going to work with is going to dictate really the entire process and how you'll be able to manage the stress that comes with opening up walls and finding problems. Because when you know that expectations are laid out on both sides, your expectations of them and their expectations of you, it makes the process that much easier. When it comes to stressful situations, they will understand that obviously, you know, if they're asking for an extra $150,000 that you didn't budget for, that that stress obviously means that it's gonna cause a little bit of friction and then they work through it, right? So it's super duper important. Getting multiple quotes. As I said, it is so important that you look at multiple people and multiple quotes to understand the financial uh, obligation that you are tying yourself to. Sometimes, you know, people will say, you can do one renovation in a, in, in 500,000 and somebody will say it's going to cost you a million dollars. So you need to understand that range and be realistic with your budget. And then understand that if you're gonna go with the $500,000 uh, you know, team versus the million, you're gonna get two different products. Getting things in writing. Stress, can't stress that enough. I think a contract is super important. So make sure you sign a contract, make sure you understand the contract. If you are not someone that understands contracts or works with contracts um, on a regular basis, it doesn't hurt to have a friend that is in that industry or a lawyer look at it to advise you on things that may not be normal to be in a uh, in a contractor's um, you know uh, schedule and you need to be aware of those things because you don't want those coming up later the fine print is super important here and make sure you have money set aside for unforeseen circumstances right like things will come up when you do a gut renovation or a larger renovation things come up but you need to plan for it you need a contingency fund and sometimes more than a contingency fund but you just need to be prepared so make sure you do understand that. And then being realistic with your deadlines. You know, larger renovations <laughs> tend to always take longer. Unfortunately, there are so many things that are out of your control, out of your contractor's control, out of the tradespeople's um, control, the city, the, the permitting process. Sometimes will take four weeks, sometimes could take 12 weeks. You don't know. So these are things that you need to be aware of. There will always be you know, things that come up. So you need to be a little bit flexible. If they tell you that, you know, your renovation is gonna be done in July, kind of like in our case, but we didn't get into our house till October, that's okay. You should be able to manage those four or five months um, potentially without having your home completed. And also know that, you know, when you do step into that home eventually and start using everything, there's probably going to be things that come up. So you need to have that relationship and understanding that you have a warranty, that you have people that you can call on to come back and fix those issues. And that's it. So it's a lot to, you know, kind of take in before you start the reno, but don't underestimate this process. It is imperative that when you start your renovation, you, you have a sense of yes, I am comfortable going into this with whoever you're going into this with. That team is going to be, it's essentially like a relationship, a marriage that you're in for, you know, a, a year or eight months, nine months. It, it, I genuinely feel that it is that level of commitment because it's not, it's not just a financial obligation. It is a continuous communication. So those are my tips for what you need to know before you begin your renovation. If you like this content, please uh, like the video, uh, send me some comments. If you have any questions about my personal experience or if I can help, let me know. I would be happy to do that.